Buonasera, benvenuti, welcome to my Radius of Hollow YouTube seminar now. So this is a Radius of Hollow gauge, and you can see that it has various different arcs cut into it from a very small radius, which is a curvy arc, moving up to a very large three inch radius here which is a very flat arc and um, this uh, radius of hollow gauge can be used to measure the radius of hollow that is in an ice skate. Most skaters skate with a radius of hollow somewhere in this range 7 16 to 5 8 even up to 3 quarters and um, I actually skate with a radius of hollow of 7 eighths. This is in inches multiplied by 2.54 to get centimeters, 25.4 to get millimeters. Um, in my opinion, uh, most skaters use too small a radius. In other words, they're cutting too sharp an edge into their skates. Many skaters use 7 16 which is too sharp in my opinion for everybody. Half inch is even too sharp. 9 16 okay. Try to move in the direction of 5 8 and eventually go to what the master uses. 7 8 of an inch. And um, I'll get to the reason for that but we can use this gauge so skate sharpeners if you want to customize the sharpening for one of your clients you can measure the radius of hollow that's already in the skate you want to hold this gauge so that it's orthogonal perpendicular to the blade so that it's not twisted this way or that way and it's not twisted this way or that way you also want to sight down that tangent point because um, you want to be able to see which one of these curves fits into the curve that is between the edges on the blade. And to be able to really see this, this is not so easy. It takes a little bit, little bit of practice. It's, it's easy for me because I've been doing this for years. But um, it, it's easier if you have a, uh, a, an illuminated screen in the background then you can see the way the light shines through. In this particular room I have a nice uh, panel of lighting above my head so I can look and see the way the light shines through. If the light, if this radius of hollow gauge touches the blade between the two edges and there's light on either side then the radius that I'm testing on here is 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 smaller than what's on the blade and if this uh, gauge touches this the the two edges but not the curve in between then it's then the radius on the blade is smaller than what's on here you understand right so you can figure it out it's, it's just common sense and so uh, actually if you're sharpening outdoors or by a window the sky is a very good something to have in the background but for for now, so I, I can cite, I can try various different uh, curves here and see which one fits in. And I, I just already know that I use 7 8 So that's what fits perfectly into that <sighs> curve between the two edges on my skate. Skate sharpeners, uh, if you want to customize the sharpening is as I've said you'll match you'll do, do this test determine what the radius of the hollow is and either match it especially right before an important an important event because as we make changes to that radius of hollow there's an adjustment time and I got my skate sharpened a few years ago by somebody and I told them my radius of hollow but they didn't match exactly what I asked for and I was freaking out because it was like whoa how does anybody skate on this I measured it later and it was 
half inch and I thought oh my god how could anybody skate on half inch hollow well a lot of skaters do get used to a half inch hollow but it's not ideal you want to move in the direction of a shallower hollow and I'll tell you why well we, we want uh, a, uh, a sharpness on the blade so that we don't slip sideways right we want enough grip so that the uh, force that's forcing us out on our curves um, is, you know, the blade cuts into the ice so it holds us, right? We don't want to slip, skid unnecessarily when we're skating. For me, seven-eighths of an inch is, is plenty sharpness. And, okay, I skate after so many decades of practice, I skate very steadily. I don't wobble, I don't have a lot of random motion. So because I'm steady, um, I grip the ice better, um, but skaters who are not as steady um, tend to be less experienced skaters and they tend to be, they don't tend to use as deep edges, so I would argue that even less experienced skaters would benefit from not too deep a hollow. I don't think the experience of a skater is a factor in choosing a radius of hollow actually and I don't think that the weight of a skater either is a factor in choosing a uh, radius of hollow because yes if you're heavier you you penetrate the ice more because of your weight but if you're heavier you kind of need more grip because there's more centrifugal force for a heavier person so those two factors kind of offset each other uh, the hardness of the ice is a factor that will influence how you grip the ice. You will skid more easily on very hard ice. So if you typically skate in a very cold rink with very hard ice, yeah, okay, maybe you want a slightly deeper hollow. Uh, now, you can imagine that when you, when you cut a, a curve into that blade, you create a bite angle at the edge. So um, you can have quite an acute angle, which means the blade's very sharp, or you can have a, you know, less, uh, less of an angle, you know, closer to a right angle, and that's not as sharp. And um, if you think about it, if you have a dance blade that's thinner, then for the same radius, you're going to get a duller sharpening. You're going to get a sharpening that's less acute, let's say. So that is a factor in choosing uh, the radius of hollow is the thickness of a blade. For dance blades, to get the same sharpness, you want a smaller radius of hollow. Um, <clears throat> and now, the disadvantage, what's the disadvantage of having a, a very sharp skate that has lots of grip? Well, yeah, okay, an advantage might be that it saves you on, in some emergency situation where you land, have a really bad landing, you're all rough on the landing and the, the grip helps uh, save your landing, but there's so many disadvantages to having a sharpening that's too sharp. Um, I think you want to get used to shallower hollow have I mentioned that and the reason is you get better flow so if the blade doesn't sink into the ice as far there's not as much friction and you can maintain your speed more easily um, and you're going to find that you skate more quietly actually with a shallower hollow um, it's it's interesting I just realized recently that you know, I was thinking, well, skaters that use very deep edges, maybe they need sharper, deeper skates. No, because um, as you go on a deeper and deeper edge, there's a component of the centripetal force that adds to your weight. So you're effectively heavier on deeper edges. And because you're heavier, the blade sink, penetrates the ice more and you get more grip. So, and, but, and if you have too deep a hollow, then the, the ice 
the skate blade penetrates the ice and you're contacting a larger arc of the of the rocker on those deep edges and because you're contacting a larger arc you have less mobility it kind of grabs so if you want really good mobility and really good flow choose a shallower hollow go in the direction of three quarters of an inch, seven eighths of an inch. I hope that this for skate sharpeners and for skaters and for coaches has been useful information for you. As I say, most skaters skate on what I believe is too deep a hollow and they will benefit from a lesser hollow. So take this information and run with it. And if you want to make a change, make an incremental change. If you're using half inch, go to 9 16 and try it. Give yourself a little bit of a chance to get used to it and see if you don't like it better. And then since you like it better, maybe you're going to move towards 5 8 the next time you get your skate sharpened and etc etc. So yeah, signing off. Arrivederci. Buona fortuna. Ciao.